Well, there are growing concerns now about the fate of Christians in the Middle East and other victims of the radical Islamic terrorists of ISIS. Christians and other religious minorities facing growing prosecution, executions, and mass killings, say advocates who are demanding the world do more to save them. Human rights groups say ancient communities like the Yazidis and the Coptic Christians now face the threat of potentially being entirely wiped out. Well, our next guest is taking action. He is Yank Berry, the founder and CEO of Vita Pro Foods and the founder of Global Village Champions Foundation, an organization that provides housing for thousands who have fled Syria. His parents were saved in the Holocaust, and he is now passing it on. Mr. Berry, you're in London tonight. Thank you for joining us. I, I have to tell you that four million refugees, the humanitarian crisis there is just so overwhelming. Do you see similarities with, with the extermination of, of the Jews under the Nazis? Oh, I, I, I see uh, incredible similarities. Um, they're, they're, um, the, world, the world's sitting on the sideline, thinking this is going to go away. It's not going to go away. I've been watching this for four years now, and it's just getting worse. And what have you been doing? Well, I, I, I wanted to buy homes in Bulgaria, um, but the Bulgarian citizens didn't want refugees in, so I ended up buying two hotels, and we support the largest camp, and we try and get as many Christians as we can out of Syria and Iraq, um, also, also Muslims and, and Druze. And we, and we pay to support them, and we've moved some of them into Germany. I'm here, in, I'm here in England to talk with some high-level officials to try and move some here into, into England, but it's hard. We saw this uh, during the Nazi time. I mean, what would happen to those people that are helping now if you weren't there and doing this? They, they would be dead. They would really killed or, you know, um, when, when I first started talking about ISIS four years ago, no one knew how to spell it. ISIS has been around for a long time, and um, they, they just busted 40 or 50 terrorists in Bulgaria. I was there yesterday in Bulgaria last week. They're everywhere, and it's going to get worse. And, and we have to start really thinking of this for our futures because it's going to happen in the States. It's going to happen in Canada, and it's happening everywhere. We see the, uh, the uh, uh, philosophy of the radical Islamic terrorism spreading. We've had it here in the United States in multiple attacks, not just 9-11, but going back 25 years. You say you warned about it. How do we stop it? How can the world fight against this seemingly growing nihilistic philosophy? Well, you know, individuals are making a big difference. My, my friend uh, Foster Freeze, who has been on your network, um, is doing a lot. I'm doing a lot. We have to group together. Because governments are moving too slowly. They're moving much too slowly. Every individual has to, has to do something. Um, it's also really, really sad that this is happening to Christians. It's happening to Jews, but it's happening to Christians. And I'm Jewish, and I think I have to give back. Why don't more people do it? You talk about the government's moving slowly. Finally, uh, uh, the Washington Post says, we have accepted only 546 refugees uh, in the past four years, The Guardian says 104 people uh, from Syria. What should the U.S. government do? How can we help? Well, let me, let me tell you what we're doing, Eric. Um, we have Interpol. We have the Bulgarian um, security, um, the UNCHR. We have the pedigree on these people. There is no risk but the ones who clear through Bulgaria. Why are we having such a problem trying to get countries to accept them? We're for their flights. We're paying to get them there. The only country that's really come forward, two countries, Germany and, and Greece. I was in Canada recently. I'm Canadian, as you probably know. I was in Canada recently, and, and they started to move, and they took two steps backwards. Um, I don't have the answer. I, I just wish that, that some country would decide to open their doors on people who are, they're educated. Um, they, we have security clearance on them. Uh, they ran away because it was a, they, were, they were going to be killed, let's face it. They would die. Some of the tenants that we have in my hotels um, lost, their, lost their fathers. One of the families um, had a videotape of ISIS grabbing them, offering him to either convert to Islam or die, and they beheaded him and played, played soccer with his head. Mm. You know, how devastated are those kids? One man can make a difference. Yank Barry, you certainly appear to be doing that. Thank you for joining us this afternoon with your plaintive plea to the world to do more for the Syrian refugees. Thank you for having me, Eric. Absolutely. Arthur. Okay.